If not now, when? Have you noticed that millennials don't wear watches? <laughs> millennials live in the now. Millennials live in the present moment. There's something to be learned about that because the past is where it is. It's in the past. You can't go back. The future never comes. There's always now. Everything happens now. So sever your ties with being preoccupied with the past. Free yourself from the anxiety that comes from being preoccupied with the future and consider now. Don't consider shoulda, coulda, woulda. What about right now? You can live your dreams right now. I'm not just speaking esoterically or metaphysically. I am being extremely pragmatic and practical when I say that you can live your dreams starting today. Forget about what didn't happen. Think about your dreams, your vision. Pull it off the shelf, dust it off, get the cobwebs off, and just reconsider manifesting the possibilities of you walking in your purpose. Just just think to yourself, it's possible. It's possible. Now, I happen to know that it's more than just possible. I'm just giving you a starting point. It's more than possible. You can, as of today, as of right now, as of this very moment, begin walking in your purpose, living out your dream, manifesting your vision. What's stopping you? What are the if, ands, and buts, and the shoulda, coulda, wouldas that are standing in your way? You can't blame it on bad parenting, a, a bad upbringing, you, you can't blame it on uh, a poor economy, lack of education. You can't blame it on any of those things. You know why? Because the fact that you can fix your mouth, to fix your thoughts upon blaming that thing, proves that you are aware of these things. And if you have an awareness of it, you can circumvent it. You can get around it. You can get through it. You can transmute it. You can transcend it. So there are no such thing. There, there are no such thing as excuses. Let's stop procrastinating and start living our dreams right now. Now you may say, hold up, this this is some positive thinking baloney, Consuela, Swayze, Connie, Marie, Allen. Mm, not exactly. It's, it's a positive thing to think this way, yes. But it's more than just a positive thing to think this way. It's a prosperous thing to think this way. It's prosperous thinking. It's it's the flourishing of the soul to fixate your consciousness on that which is your very purpose in this earth. Now, if you have dreams of being an Academy Award winning actor, how does that start today? How can I reconcile that with everything else that I just said? Well, do you have a YouTube channel? Do you have an EPK? Are there things about acting? Until you get to that point where you are starring in that film that's going to get you the nod, 
Are there things that you can be sharing with people that you have learned on your road to acting? Even if you stopped and gave up, I'm telling you to, uh, instead of giving up and giving in, dust those dreams off, uh, get the cobwebs off your vision, reconsider the possibility and get enthusiastic and zealous about what was placed inside of you and what was placed inside of you. At some point you had a fire in your belly about what it was that you were supposed to do and you enjoyed doing that. You were just in the flow state, that creative state, just in the zone. Is, is, is there something on your ride that you have learned about acting that you can share with other people, the do's and the don'ts? Maybe about music production, uh, uh, being a vocalist, how to take care of your voice, how to not put so much strain on your voice, how to save your, your voice, what to drink, what not to drink what what chemicals and substances to avoid to keep your voice in shape is, is there is there something of value that you can share with other people based off your knowledge and your experience as you have been on this road to success even if you veered off to the left or the right some even if you bust the yui it's never too late to 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 change directions. It's never too late to set the cell. I don't care if you wrinkle and decrepit, uh, uh, just getting it back and forth uh, on a walker with a lethargic crawl. If you can go, and there's breath still in your body, there's still an op there's still something for you to do on this earth you can live your dreams right now as of today and what you will notice as you uh, as you will allow that gift to flow through you to others you will become more and more blessed more and more creative more innovative you'll have more and more ingenuity and your gift will bring you it will make room for you. It will bring you in the presence of great men. And that is a process that will never end. It will go on and on and on and on. Earl Nightingale defined success this way. And this is one of my favorite definitions of success. Success is the continued realization of a worthy goal or ideal. Some people quote it as success is the progressive realization of a worthy goal or ideal. So you can say success is, con is su success is the continued progressive realization of a worthy goal or ideal, which simply means this, as soon as you embark, as soon as you embark on that pathway, of I'm going to manifest my dream. I'm going to write that business plan. I'm going to make some phone calls. I'm going to see who wants to go into business with me. If I have to do it alone, I'm going to see what it is that I have to do. I'm going to sit down to the drawing table. I'm going to come up with a sketch, a plan. I'm going to I'm going to come up with the vision. I'm going to write the vision and make it plain. As soon as you embark on that endeavor, you are successful at that very point because it's never ending. It's not just the goal that you reach and you attain. It's the, the process of moving in the way of that goal, the, your, your particular, the path that was was divinely designed and and carved out for you once you come into alignment with that you are yet you are successful 
that's that that's uh, the uh, there's a saying i think the saying is uh success is not a destination it's a journey i like how the the late dr wayne dyer stated it there is no way to happiness happiness is the way now what does it have to do with everything i just said uh about setting goals and manifesting your dreams and live living out your vision because you are most happy you are most blissful tell the truth you are most uh uh enthusiastic about life when you are living out your purpose that's what makes people happy when they're doing what they love and when you do what you love it's not work i made it a a a, a tradition you know I, I try to do something associated with music every day but if for some reason I've, i i had allowed myself to get distracted by life on my birthday i always make it a point to be in the studio working and you know people won't even find out till later on that it's my birthday because i'm in there working like it's just another day why because my birthday reminds me of why i am in the earth and that is to create dope music share it with the world and teach others how to do the same to bring out the music that is within me and encourage other people to bring out the music that is within them even if it's not literally music you know what I'm saying don't die with your music still in you not necessarily songs and rhythms and cadences and crescendos and beats but whatever that gift is and my I have a gift of drawing out gifts and that's what I want to do with you on this walk with you becoming an infopreneur. So before you even have the opportunity to open that restaurant, uh, create a cookbook, an ebook for uh, some type of niche for diabetics or something. Um, the same thing if for your drinks, if they're new, you, you, you may want to look into the legalities of uh, getting that trademark copyrighted i don't know how it works with coming up with a new drink or anything i'm throwing these ideas out there and and, and those who are meant to catch them will catch them you know music is my thing uh and internet marketing is my thing but n no matter what your thing is what your music is what your gift is dancing choreography you want to be a choreographer and and you tell me oh i don't have any clients get on youtube and start doing some choreography and walk people through step by step by step. and one two three four five six seven turn one two three four i don't know anything you know i mean i was in marching band or whatever i don't know anything about choreography i'm just throwing some ideas out there today as of today in this very moment you can live your dreams it might not be the the big stage with your names up in lights and neon lights today it could be but it may not be today but that doesn't mean that you're not living your dream today because all you have to do is embark on the path start in in the in the way start walking in that that niche that was divinely carved out for you and in that very moment you are successful and what you can start doing today to live your dreams everyone you, we everyone has access to social media it's free everyone has a, a phone a, a, with a camera on it a video camera whatever it, it, anybody can sit down and write you can get anybody to edit it if you're not that good of a writer you get get someone who is to edit it for you get a graphic designer to illustrate it for you put put together an ebook put together some type of white paper report a cookbook poetry whatever it is that you do audio courses video courses programs software lectures sermons whatever it is that you do 
you you have technology available to you right now. You don't have to go and rent out a studio for two hundred and fifty dollars an hour, or 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 go before a videographer a videographer for one hundred and eighty dollars an hour just to get your message out there, or just to put shine on your talent. But you you do over time want to become more and more professional as time goes on. You want to polish and 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 uh, uh put that sandpaper on that thing, smooth that smooth smooth the corners out on that thing. But what are you doing right now? Do what Jim Rohn said, do what you can and do the best you can. Do what you can and do the best you can. Do what you can and do the best you can. And when you look back you'll realize that the first best you can is not as good as the current best you can because when you continue to do the best you can you get better and better and better it's like exercise you do eight push-ups that's the most you can do keep doing eight push-ups at some point you're going to get to 80 push-ups and it's the same way with living out your dream I have a dream that, uh, well, I'm, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to share that with you right now. But uh, I will refer back to this video when that dream uh, does manifest. And I feel it coming on me a lot sooner than I thought it was actually going to manifest. But for those of you who want to get started working on your dream right now, what I have to offer you is a starter kit. It's a marketing kit. Uh, it's it's 100 plus sales pages that you can use for your website. 50 email swipes that you can use to communicate with the people on your mailing list. There is a a a step by step uh, formula on how to write ad copy, aka sales copy. And, and there's another free bonus in there as well. And you, once you look, just look below this video right now and click the link and it's going to take you to where you can download this material. Once you download this material, you can automatically start using it on your website, on your social media pages, uh, with your mailing list is, is, it's it's so easy. It's I mean it's it's just too easy. K I S S. Keep it simple, stupid. It it is so simple. Uh, it's it, it's almost painful how easy it is to just go ahead and package up your passion, package up your passion and deliver it to the people. Now, this starter kit, this they're, they're marketing materials with mar- uh, marketing tips. Again, sales pages, over 100 sales pages, 50 email swipes, and um, a, t- a tutorial, uh, almost like a checklist of for- uh, formula, formulas and strategies on how to write effective ad copy. Now, this is not a course. This is not a training course on infopreneurship. I am developing a training course on infopreneurship. And when the training course on infopreneurship is available, uh, you'll know because, first of all, I'll post a video about it, but also I'll come back to this video and redo the video description. So come back frequently and check this video description to see if there have been any additions but right as of right now you can click below the video click the link below the video right now and go to uh download these marketing materials to help you on your path on becoming an infopreneur and live your dreams right now starting today as a matter of fact starting in this very moment god bless you god prosper you